Known for her work in the Southern Territory during the era of racial segregation, Major Norma Roberts embodies a trailblazer and pioneer spirit. In 1944, she applied to enter the training school here in Atlanta, but racial restrictions during that time redirected her to the Eastern Territories Training College. After her commissioning, probationary Lieutenant Roberts was appointed to the Booth Memorial Hospital in New York. In a very short time, Norma established herself as a dedicated officer with a beautiful spirit. Yet Norma spoke freely about taking an appointment in the racially segregated South, even though she knew she would face discrimination there. More than anything, she wanted to be an evangelist. To support her transfer, her leaders confirmed that she thought this through and recognizes the sacrifice which she must make in returning to the South, where opportunities for herself and those of her race are so limited. In 1949, she was appointed to a Little Rock, Arkansas outpost in the Southern Territory. When a local newspaper reporter wrote an article on Lieutenant Roberts' ministry, he highlighted the struggles faced by the local black community. The piece exposed a population in desperate need. In the spotlight was Lieutenant Norma Roberts, a young, dedicated Salvation Army officer working valiantly against great odds. The public's response and support of Lieutenant Roberts' ministry resulted in a new state-of-the-art community center where anyone had the opportunity to congregate, to worship, to enjoy recreation, all while sharing in God's love. It served 5,000 people annually. Now, well on her way to truly making the difference she dreamed about, Norma ministered to families by helping them overcome marital problems, domestic violence, and the humiliation associated with abject poverty. Her vision of a new tomorrow was now on the drawing board and beginning to take shape. The Salvation Army strives to promote the spiritual and material welfare of people all over the world, regardless of race or color, Norma said. In that spirit, she continued, it seeks to bring its service to my people in the Southland. Major Roberts' officer service included several long appointments throughout the South, as well as vigorous studies to achieve her master's in social work. She retired as the Territorial Social Services Secretary in June of 1985. Greetings fellow Salvationists from throughout the USA Southern Territory. It's my pleasure to join you today from International Headquarters as you gather to celebrate his reconciling grace. And as you witness the cadets of the messengers of grace receive their commission and ordination. Over these days, we can see that God is forever renewing his people and equipping his church with the vital ministry of reconciliation. The Salvation Army was born through sanctified imaginations of two people, Catherine and William Booth. They were determined to reach the unloved with the message of hope and the marginalized with practical expressions of grace. When the residents of East London were excluded from places of worship or restricted from positions of influence, our founders broke through those barriers. and They were determined to lead a diverse army of believers to win the world for Jesus. Through the years and into today's Salvation Army, we have upheld these same standards. When we see each other through the eyes of the Redeemer, we go beyond the characteristics that make us different and we focus on the truths that unite us. As a result, we have had pioneers help us advance our mission in these areas. In 1917, five years after William Booth's promotion to glory, his son, 
General Bramwell Booth wanted to recognize Salvationists who had rendered distinguished service, such as would have been especially commended to the founding. As a result, he inaugurated the order of the founding to acknowledge those servants of Christ whose ministry helped transform their world. Over the past 84 years, only 104 officers and 106 lay Salvationists have been recognized with this, the Salvation Army's highest honor. Salvationists have every reason to be proud of those who have been awarded this outstanding recognition for excellent Christian example, witness, and service. Today, it is my honor to include Major Norma Roberts in the Order of the Founder. Generations of Southern Salvationists have recognized the results of her pioneering ministry, even decades after her service has been given. Her name, reputation, and influence have established standards of selfless service in communities where people were not respected or supported due to their skin color. Yet Major Roberts, her perseverance and faithfulness have inspired soldiers, cadets, and officers of color throughout the South to continue their battle against racism and injustice by loving and serving as Jesus did. We are so proud to include Major Norma Roberts among those Salvationists who have helped shape the Salvation Army into a powerful movement and now a global reality. Now in true Salvationist spirit, will you confirm with me through a robust Amen the work of God within us today. May God bless Major Norma Roberts. Amen. May God bless the messengers of grace. Amen. May God bless the Salvationists of the Southern Territory. Amen. And may God bless the Salvation Army. Amen. <laughs>